Hello and welcome to EV Car Share. So I'm heading into my office today, so it's not a, a, a journey that I'm going to be videoing or it hasn't really got any sort of interest. It's not a long journey, it's not going to anywhere in particular. Um, it's what I do two or three times a week. But there is something I've noticed <clears throat> along the route that allows me to show you one of the features of the car um, and one of the problems, uh, problems, issues, um, restrictions, and uh, no, they're not restrictions, limits, limitations. There you go, that's perfect. One of the limitations of the technology. Um, so I will do that. I'm starting from here. This is Y Boston. This is the services where there's a McDonald's over there and there's a Greg's there and there's, I think it's BP. Uh, it might be BP, might be some other sort of um, petrol station for your fossil fuels, but there's one there as well. Um, so this is by the Black Cat Roundabout, but this isn't where I can show you this feature. Um, that's going to be further on. This is just a suitable stopping point to start the video. Between here and the M1 where I want to show you the feature, um, that's where uh, there's nothing to stop. So I, I will start from here, obviously. Um, so what I want to show you, I'll let you know now, I'm not going to kind of wait. What I want to show you is the automated speed limit recognition system. So the car has a camera, um, high mounted at the top of the windscreen, I think, um, which it uses to spot speed limit signs and then display those on the screen. And if you are going above those speed limits by a particular amount, then it will warn you as well with a, a little bong kind of noise in the background. Those noises can be turned down, can be turned off, they can be adjusted in the settings. I'm not going to go into that, but what I want to show you is the, the, the system in action and, as I say, some of the limitations of it. Now, lots of other cars have this same feature. Um, it's not just the Kia, not just the EV6, not just electric cars. Um, brand new cars, lots of them have this feature. Um, call it a feature, call it a a pain, it depends on whether you prefer to stay below the speed limit or whether you prefer to go above the speed limit, which is, of course is your choice, not mine. Um, so we will we'll get going and then when we're in that zone on that part of the M1, then I'll be able to show you it both from this camera looking out the front and also hopefully from my handheld camera just kind of picking out a few important things um, as we drive. Okay, so We'll um, get to it. Okay, so here we are on the M1, and as you can see off to the right there, central reservation area, we have roadworks. So <clears throat> the way the the the, the um, speed sign recognition camera works is that it looks for speed signs. So in something like this, where Normally it would be a 70 mile an hour speed limit, but it's been reduced to 50 mile an hour. Then wherever it says sees the 50 mile an hour speed sign, then it's able to monitor or change to 50 mile an hour, which is fine. But you may notice, I've just passed one there, there are 10 mile an hour speed signs in the roadworks themselves. These are sight limits. So these are the limits for the diggers and the road workers and the various cars and trucks and heavy, heavy plant machinery that goes on in the actual roadworks. So I passed one there, it switched to 10. Now I will pass a 50. There we go, and it switched back to 50. Now the 50 was designed for me to see, uh, which I Obviously, as a, a driver, I can see that, and I can understand 50. Now, the car also sees it and understands 50, but it sees the 10s and assumes those apply to it as well. Now, I have noticed on occasion there have been road, site, road working site signs that have been as low as 5. It does not pick up the 5s. So here we go, here's a 5 coming up, so on the right we can see a 5 and just past it, yet we stay at 50. So you can see on the, on the dashboard it's still saying 50. 
and then we have a 50 that applies to us so there we go past the 50 we've got 50 already so that's that's irrelevant um, we could do with a 10 can we in a moment here we go so here's a 10 so we're currently at 50 over on the right just now there is a 10 and it didn't pick that one up okay now that hasn't proved my point sometimes it won't pick them up sometimes it will it depends on whether there's a cone in the way sometimes as well but another 10 coming up now on the right so we'll probably pick that one up but we missed that one as well okay so usually i pick up more 10s it's always um murphy's law isn't it it's when you're trying to show somebody something it never happens um, but usually down here i pick up most of the tens um, and then of course if you're way above the speed limit and you've got the speed limit warning set then it thinks you're going 40 mile an hour above the speed limit in an area where there are speed cameras as well so then it really wants you to slow down and you'll really get the the bong bong kind of noises there we go so that tenant did pick up so you can hear now those noises hoping you can hear that um, so those noises are telling me I'm way above the speed limit there are speed cameras in the area I really need to slow down but of course I know I'm not I know I'm around the speed limit there's 50 I'm back into the 50 zone again and it knows it thinks about it it knows it now if I was in a different lane then I wouldn't pick up those signs so if I'm in the left lane or the centre lane I've done this because I do this read lots of times lots of times every month um, when I'm in the other lanes it does not pick up those signs over to the right because they are so far to the right um, as I mentioned some of it doesn't pick up anyway because they are um, hidden slightly behind cones and things like that so over there here I'm well away from the 10 signs um, and so it just doesn't pick them up. So what do we what do we make of it? Well, I guess it's just showing the limitations of the technology. So the technology can't discern between a 50 and a 10 which one is aimed at me and which one is aimed at the road workers obviously it discerns between a 50 and a 10 it knows which one's a 50 which one's a 10 and that's kind of the problem um, but it doesn't know which signs apply to the car now in sign technology or sign regulations that could be accounted for so if they want this technology to be rolled out into cars if this is something that is seen as a benefit to having cars and they want more people to have this sort of technology and keep it turned on as well of course it's one of the things that people will do if the technology is too annoying is they'll just turn it off um, so if they want people to have this technology and keep it on and use it then there may be a need to change the signs in some respect um, to make some of them clearly different to the others so if the Thames had a different colour to them or a different marking or a different shape then they would not be picked up by the speed camera recognition system in the same manner um, obviously that would require a regulatory change to our road signage um, in the UK and obviously in the countries it would be doable it wouldn't be a huge job um, but I don't see it happening I, I don't have any knowledge of anybody talking about it even um, but at the moment that is what will happen with the car it will pick up stray signs if you're driving along and suddenly the, the speed limiter or the speed limit detection comes up with an unusual number then it's because it's just misread a sign or it's read a sign that it shouldn't be reading I have seen it come up with speed speeds above the maximum UK limit 
So I've seen it display 80 or 110 or these kind of unusual, unusually high numbers for um, a country that drives with miles per hour rather than kilometers per hour. I don't know specifically on those occasions which side it's misread or which side it's picked up um, inadvertently. So really I just wanted to show you that. Thank you for watching and thank you for joining me on another another episode, I guess you'd call it another video. If you like the channel then please subscribe. If you like the video, like the video. If you have something to say, stick it in the comments. But otherwise, thank you for watching and I'll speak to you next time.